With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, welcome everyone. So the question says that we have to find the Lewis limit when y is tending to zero. So let us rationalize this. So rationalizing this, we can write that limit y tending to zero. So the denominator will be y four, and this will be root under. 1 plus root under 1 plus y square since it is minus here so we will multiply with root plus so the numerator will become square of this term and the square minus square of this term we know that a minus b into a plus b is given by a square minus b square this is minus b square so this will be minus B square is two, so our limits become so. This is our limit. So limit tending to zero. This will be root under one plus y four, and this will be minus one. And in the denominator, we have this as y four, and this is one plus root under one plus y four plus root two. So this is one term. So in the next step, we will rationalize this term also. So that is multiplying this equation by one plus y four. This is minus here, so this will be plus here divided by root under one plus y four plus one. So after doing this operation, we got that our answer will be one plus y four this square minus one square. So that is one, and this will be given by y four, and this is root under one plus root under one plus y four. This is plus root two, and this will be root under one plus y four plus one. So this all term is in denominator. So writing our answer. So this this is gone, and y four and y four is gone. So limit is tending from zero. So if we put the value zero in this question, so this will be numerator is one. So this will become root under one plus root under one. And this will be plus root two. This is the one term, and multiplied by this will be root one plus one, and this is one outside. So we get that our answer will be one by this will be root two. So this will be root two plus root two, and this will be two root two. This will be root two plus one. This will be root two plus One. So from here we can write that our answer will become. So this is two root two. So this will be two root two multiplied by root two plus one. So this will be our answer to the limit. So let us check the option. So option C will be correct. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.